Hi, Steve Casty here. I want to talk today a little bit about the overall philosophy of Comp 249. Uh, it's a course I've been teaching for some time here at Macquarie and it changes a lot over the years. Um, uh, but we've always had the, um, the same core approach, which is to try to teach about the fundamentals of the web and the way the web works and goes together. Uh, and this means that we don't necessarily look at the latest and greatest toolkits and, and frameworks and things like that that go along with modern web development. But um, there's a reason for that. I want to try and sort of explain that just now. So COP249 is uh, the web technology unit and um, it's a course that covers the, the basic uh, ideas around web technology. And what we're aiming to do is to uh, get you to understand the basics of the web critique good web design, be able to build a real web application uh, and essentially be a critical uh, developer on the web. We want you to understand that core, those core ideas. And so if you look at the unit schedule, we've got a whole lot of topics that are about understanding HTML, CSS, cookies, sessions, JavaScript, uh, and the general architectures of the web. What you don't see is any particular web application framework, uh, things that you might have heard of like Angular, React, Rails, PHP, and, and so on. And there's a reason for that. Uh, if we have a, actually go and have a look at the landscape of web application frameworks, there's a huge, huge range of things that you can choose from these days. This is just a Google search for web framework, and we can see you know, you've got Django, which is a Python uh, thing, Ruby on Rails, Flask, and so on. There's just like an almost an infinite number of frameworks that we can choose to build web applications. And the thing about these things is that they um, sit at different levels of abstraction. They all are sort of, some of them are nice and simple to understand, some of them are much more complicated. Uh, all of them make assumptions about how you're going to put together your web application. They use different languages. Uh, some of them are front-end frameworks, some of them are back-end frameworks, and so on. Um, there are lots and lots of different ways to put together applications. But underneath all of that, there are some fundamentals. There are some fundamentals about the web and about the way that it works that we think if you understand those, if you get hold of those, you have a better chance of understanding this huge landscape of things as we go forward. There's some interesting articles. Here's one, how it feels to learn JavaScript in 2016. One of the things that people are observing, this is about the JavaScript ecosystem, is that it is changing so rapidly. Uh, this is a humorous article, I'll link to it. It basically says, well, you know, I want to go and learn a bit of JavaScript, but before you do that, you should learn this and then you should learn that and all the different acronyms and and systems and things and yes and oh well yes we used to do that last year but this year we do this and so on um, and and so you know there's just all this change in the JavaScript ecosystem it's just very very hard to cope with unless you're really up there and, uh, and keeping track so we don't want to commit to teaching some particular JavaScript framework or, or server-side framework um, that might change, that might not be the, the big thing next year. We want to try and give you something that allows you to see and understand what is really going on. So we go back to standards. We go back to what actually makes the web work and go together. This is the W3C's website and they have a whole lot of things about the, the standards of the web. And you see they've got the web architecture which is about the core ideas of URIs and HTTP and protocols and how that goes together. These are one of the, these are some of the things that we want to talk about. Uh, web design and applications talks about how to put together applications and the fundamentals of HTML and CSS, JavaScript, web APIs, uh, and so on. These are the kind of core concepts that we want to get you to master, get you to understand how they work, how they fit together, how they go to make web applications uh, and so we have put together problems that will expose these kind of things to you. Uh, we're sort of giving you tasks that will hopefully help you understand these things. We're going to try and help you build things and in building those things that you should un try and understand how those things are going to go together. 
So we're not going to use a system that allow that sort of manages users for you and allows you to log in. We're going to get you to write code that allows people to log in themselves, so that you get to see how that actually works and why you need cookies, for example, to track users and so on. Um, then, once you've mastered that, the idea is that then you probably will never build an application in the same way again. You would say, okay, well, I understand that framework. Now let's go and look at some of these frameworks that are available for this for higher level abstractions and really use those, but understand how they're working, understand how they're going to uh, get through. So that's the, the general philosophy of Comp249. That's why we teach these low level details. It's why we try and get you to understand HTTP in the hope that in understanding those things you'll be set for the future so that by the time you get to be web development professionals yourself and the world has changed yet again in the two years since you did this course, you will have a, a good grounding in the basics to be able to understand that. So thanks very much and I hope you enjoy Comp249.